Is it the right time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're delving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, November 27, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. It's important not to miss any critical updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 2, 2023, our system has identified Palantir as a buy candidate, with a score of 2.05. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has shown a gain of 6.18%. In other words, it has delivered an average daily return of 0.36% since it was identified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating potential for further growth. Over the next three months, there is a projected 30.02% change in the stock's value, with a potential return ranging from 10.38% to 47.58%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend suggests a significant 180.04% change, with a potential return ranging from 123.51% to 216.46%. This could result in a price range of $42.65 to $60.38 after a year. Our latest update on Palantir brings us the headline, Palantir stock price down 0.625% on Monday. On Monday, the 27th of November 2023, the Palantir stock price experienced a decline of 0.625%, dropping from $19.20 to $19.08. This marks four consecutive days of decline. Throughout the trading day, the stock price fluctuated by 4.73%, ranging from a low of $18.62 to a high of $19.50. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 3% loss. Although the volume of shares increased by 17 million on the last day, this occurred alongside falling prices, which may serve as an early warning and slightly increase the associated risk in the coming days. In total, approximately 57 million shares were bought and sold for a value of $1.08 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest recorded stock price was $21.85, while the lowest was $5.84. Currently, the price is 12.68% below the 52-week high, which amounts to a difference of $2.77. Additionally, it stands at 57.6% below the all-time high, which was recorded on January 27, 2021, when the price reached $45. Welcome to today's video on Analyst Ratings. Let's take a look at some recent ratings for PLTR. On Friday, November 3, 2023, Wedbush gave PLTR an outperform grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, September 19, 2023, Wedbush also gave PLTR an outperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, August 31, 2023, Morgan Stanley gave PLTR an underweight grade with a downgrade action. On Tuesday, August 8, 2023, Wedbush once again gave PLTR an outperform grade with a hold action. And on the same day, Goldman Sachs rated PLTR as neutral with a hold action. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as strong buy. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a neutral rating. In this video, we'll be discussing the signals identified for Palantir stock. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal for Palantir, while the long-term average shows a buy signal. With the short-term average above the long-term average, there is a general buy signal, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. As the stock continues to rise, it may face resistance at the short-term moving average, around $19.91. 
On the other hand, if the stock falls, it may find support at the long-term average of approximately $17.91. A break above the short-term average would signal a buy, while a break below the long-term average would signal a sell. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. However, there are also some negative signals to consider that could impact the short-term development of the stock. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, November 20, 2023, resulting in a 10.59% decrease so far. It is expected to fall further until a new bottom pivot is found. Yesterday, volume increased as prices fell, which could be an early warning sign that should be monitored closely. Today, I want to share some interesting signals with you. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence. It gives a buy signal. Next, we have the pivots indicator, which gave a sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger Bands also provided a buy signal 35 days ago. The short-term moving average suggests a sell signal 5 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average indicates a buy signal 18 days ago. If we consider the relationship between the short and long moving averages, it showed a buy signal 16 days ago. Moving on to the 12-month chart, the short moving average gave a buy signal 18 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average also suggested a buy signal 18 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 34 days ago. For more signals, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today we're going to talk about Palantir support, risk, and stop-loss levels. Palantir support level is at $18.89, which means that it has found strong buying interest at this price in the past. This is important because when the support level is tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock price. However, it's important to note that Palantir is considered to be a high-risk stock due to its volatility. The Bollinger Band, a technical indicator, suggests that the stock has a large prediction interval, indicating high volatility. Let's take a look at the recent price movement. In the last day, the stock moved 88 cents between its highest and lowest point, which is a percentage change of 4.73%. This shows that the stock can experience significant fluctuations in a short period of time. Looking at the last week, Palantir has had an average daily volatility of 5.97%. This means that the stock's price has been changing quite a bit on a daily basis. Before we discuss the potential trading levels for Palantir, let's take a moment to understand some important fundamental data. First up is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. Palantir has an unusually high P-E ratio, indicating that the stock may be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for technology companies or those with significant market potential to have such high ratios. Moving on, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 12, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for earnings per share are at $0.0800. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can have a substantial impact on stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing the potential day trading levels for Palantir. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $19.67. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level before considering a position. However, if you're already holding the stock, this could be an opportune level to explore swing trading possibilities. On the other hand, if Palantir experiences a decline, it encounters its first support level at $18.89. Should this support level hold, it could present a favorable entry point, with the expectation of a rebound. Analysts from multiple sources have given Palantir a combined average rating of buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On November 20, 2023, Planishek Heather A. sold 13,187 shares of Class A common stock. On November 20, 2023, Planishek Heather A. sold 9 shares of Class A common stock. On November 21, 2023, Planishek Heather A. sold 8,012 shares of Class A common stock. On November 21, 2023, 
Planishek Heather A. sold 1,184 shares of Class A common stock. On November 20, 2023, Taylor Ryan D. sold 73,392 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio is calculated to be negative at minus 18.271. In the last 100 trades, insiders have purchased a total of 8,994,150 shares and sold 13,146,540 shares. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $18.14 with a negative movement of 4.92%. Due to its high daily movements, this stock carries a higher risk. We have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred four days ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Based on several short-term signals and a positive overall trend, we believe there may be a buying opportunity for Palantir stock in the short term. However, our analysis shows that the current price is overvalued, considering the volatility and movements of the last trading day. Looking ahead to Tuesday, November 28, we anticipate Palantir to open down $0.0133 and start trading at $19.07. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. We strongly advise consulting a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we'll be discussing our current view of the stock. We value your opinion, so be sure to comment below and share your thoughts. We're also curious to know what your target for the stock is. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. Now, let's dive into the details and wish you successful trading. Have a beautiful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.